Hey guys, I've got a different type of video for you today. I was recently inspired by literally a turkey, um, that's a, another Fire and Maneuver uh, YouTube channel, um, he creates Fire and Maneuver content, um, and he had a video recently where he used uh, two Finnish guards rifles in a challenge kind of scenario that he made up against a much larger Russian force, which inspired me to make this video in which I've just got a small handful of units against a much larger AI force, and I'm playing it almost like a challenge. In this case, it's like um, we've got the Stonewall Brigade here, and they're being ambushed at uh, the Poplar Station against a much larger Union force. And so I've actually tried this recording two times, and I've lost the battles over and over again, so I've actually tried to make it a little easier for me, and I gave myself a mountain gun and also a skirmish detachment um, as well. And so we're going to deploy these guys in column. Um, and for the enemy, we've got sharps rifles, um, these sharpshooters here. And they've got skirmishing, so they can go diagonal. They've got rifles, breech loaders, and range drill as well. And the range drill gives them extra damage. They've got two volunteers, no rifles or any abilities. They've got um, regular infantry who have efficiency. This means they can move up and change formation in the same turn. And our uh, Stonewall Brigade also has efficiency. We're, in fact, we're really stacked up with perks with these two units. Melee, range, advantages, rifles, and efficiency. So they're quite good. And then the rest of the uh, enemy forces include a single Iron Brigade. Before I gave them two, but I had to <laughs> I had to reduce the size of their force because the AI is beating me. Um, so yeah, and the AI also has volunteer cavalry. Now they're beating me, I think, in combination because I'm bad at the game, um, or at least now I'm bad at the game. I used to be the best because I was like the only one playing it when I designed it. <laughs> now I'm now I'm getting worse relative to to how everyone else has been doing. But I also think the AI genuinely has been improving. We've been uh, making a lot of improvements. So yeah, they're a lot smarter, especially on the harder difficulty. Um, we don't use cheats in terms of like stat bonuses. So when you go harder on the uh, difficulty, they just have new behaviors. They're they're gonna. Um, they're able to flank you in ways that they wouldn't do in uh, lower difficulties. In fact, I think on the lower difficulties, they don't use fire at will either. So that's also something unique about the harder difficulties. Um, but yeah, last thing I want to say is if you guys want to try this scenario, uh, at the beginning of the video, I should have maybe flashed the uh, composition on the screen so you guys can try the scenario and see if you can beat it and what percentage you can win it on. Um, because I don't know if I'm going to win this, but if I do, it's going to be on a lower percentage. So see if you can beat me, and if you do, let me know in the comments. I will be reading those. And then also, if you guys can come up with your own scenarios, what would be cool is <clears throat> if you guys made your own challenges, you tell me the map, tell me the, the points. You can even come up with special rules, like I'm not allowed to use column formation or whatever uh, it is. And um, you guys can also suggest a composition for the AI and myself, and then see if I can if I can win your scenarios. And they can be any kind of wacky historical scenarios or um, not historical at all, whatever you want to pick. And uh, and yeah, I'll see if I can win it. Uh, for this for this scenario, it's like I've got Stonewall's Brigade here. He's outnumbered. Um, they're being ambushed in this uh, small rural kind of area here with a small train track going through. And that's kind of the setup for this scenario here. And of course, um, yeah, we're just out, outgunned, outnumbered in every way. So it's definitely going to be a challenge. Like I said, I had lost this scenario twice already. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to win it this time, but we'll see. Okay, um, so I know the enemy is coming at me um, here. They're probably going to deploy into lines. This guy with efficiency technically could go into a line and move up. What I probably do is get Stonewall into this farm here. You're going to get soft cover, so it um, reduces range damage taken. And if you tap one, it's actually a hotkey to put them in line formation, so that's quite useful. And I'm just going to hit them as quickly as I can, move this guy up in the line, and also fire at the same target twice, because if you stack damage, you, you're going to kill that unit way quicker. And the strategy for this is, or just in general with fire maneuver, is trying to take out individual units as quickly as possible. We're going to break off the skirmisher and then have the artillery creep up as well. And that should be it for our moves. But yeah, if you guys want to suggest scenarios, I'll read the comments and see if um, see what you guys can come up with. Okay, we actually got a really good shot off because we hit them while they're in march column. Uh, luckily for them, they went into a reserve. So then the other shot we tried to do got canceled. Um, now they're moving their cavalry up. That cavalry is definitely going to be a worry for me. These guys are going to form into lines. We're going to hit them really quickly. <clears throat> um, and then I might even give up this position because I know they're going to move up and try to shoot me. This guy's going to have rifles. He's going to shoot me. I might just pull that guy back. And this guy's going to take two base damage, one, two, range drill damage, which is another one, and vulnerability damage potentially. So it could, could go down again. 
But if he forms into line, I'm not going to be able to kill him. So I'm going to have to shoot him one more time. And I might jump into the forest here. Get the um, mountain gun one more tile up. And then I've got this little skirmish detachment. I'm going to have it work kind of as fodder in the front. And let's see what the enemy does. Probably going to form line first. Yep. We do the one hit. We're going to fall back. That guy tried to hit me just like I was thinking. Yep. And now he shouldn't be... Oh, no, he can. He can shoot through the crack here. At least we'll regain cohesion, though. This guy finishes off the kill, moves into the forest. Um, good plays by the AI so far. Um, and they might hit me here with this efficiency unit. We'll see if they uh, if they plan for that. No, nope, they go on fire at will. So they, are, they will shoot me, but they're not going to do a lot of damage. Um, but yeah, we can see the AI's got kind of an oblique battle line uh, going right now. The only thing that is tough on this map is there's so much bogged down rough terrain on these edges here that the AI can uh, struggle navigating through these non-accessible uh, tiles, then the bogged down tiles, and then it only has two tiles of road that it can, or uh, movement it can access here. Um, and so that can be a little challenging. Uh, we will move the skirmish attachment into a skirmish formation. It doesn't have rifles, so we're just going to go and fire at will and wait for something to jump out at us. I'll target the cavalry because it's vulnerable. And I can't do much with him yet. I might move him into the forest and target this guy here. And with my remaining order, I'll just put him on fire at will so he can provide fire support from the rear. He has indirect fire, so he's able to shoot. Um... Actually, you know what? He's able... I'm going to control Z to und under the order, move him up and shoot because he has no cumbersome, so he can actually do that, which is cool. So we are going to form an open order. He hits me there. Infantry is redeploying. I hit the cavalry. Infantry is moving into the reserve. Got a frontal hit on them. <clears throat> They've got the Iron Brigade in reserve back there. So even if we can take out this frontal force, that's still going to be a challenge for us. They're moving this infantry forward. We got a good hit on the infantry back there with the mountain gun. And then the... Oh, these guys, the sharpshooters are moved up. These guys are tough. They're actually moving the cavalry back to regain cohesion, which is good. All right, yeah, they're uh, breaking these skirmishers here. What can I do with them to save them? Can they be saved? I don't think... Actually, Stonewall. if I put them into reserve... Detachment. Stonewall. Skirmish detachment. Is that right? I put Stonewall these guys... Brigade. Oh, sorry, I'll go into front line. There we go. If I put them into reserve, I think that will save them. But I'm not sure it will. We'll have to see. Um, we're going to fire once, fire twice on the sharpshooters, and then just engage the enemy at the front line there. Let's see what they do. So they're probably going to hit me now. I save my sh uh, skirmish attachment. They hit me in the forest. They move up and take the cover, take the position after shooting. They're going to fire back on me, and I'm firing at them with the artillery. They're moving this infantry. Um, I hit the enemy into the wheat field. They fire onto my front line. So they're doing a lot of damage on me. Right now, this guy is the only uh, unit I really have to worry about. Plus, the reserve is not doing too well. So this whole tile, these guys are not doing too well. They're breaking right now. We can get a closer view. If you hold Shift-C, you can actually go into a cinematic mode and get the camera nice and low. See what the enemy is up to. So they actually redeployed these skirmishers diagonal, I think. They got out of there. Um, and they regained all their cohesion. So we kind of... Uh, repelled this frontal assault, and now we've got this little dagger that they're moving through with this uh, wheat field. Both of these troops are hurt. I'm going to have to move them back. I think the uh, skirmish attachment's as good as dead because it's breakable, and so as long as it's cohesion zero, it's going to take casualties. So this is as good as dead. I might as well move. Here's what I might as well do. Fire once. Fire twice. Move into reserve and fire a third time. And this guy should take a bunch of damage. And then finish him off with his two remaining hit points by hitting him uh, turn and shoot in case he moves up. Let's see what the enemy does. Oh, they're going to fall back. Okay, I should be able to get the shot off still. We're going to fall back as well. New troop takes the wheat fields. They cycled their, their troops out. My skirmish attachment's going to give its last volley before it dies. This shot, I'm not sure if this shot's going to go through because my target moved too far away. Let's see if it goes through. Okay, so my shot actually got 
um, it retargeted. So I orig was originally targeting this unit. We implemented a new system where if your target escapes and a new one takes its place, your fire order doesn't get thrown away anymore. It'll just get reassigned. So we actually took out that unit, which is good. We lost our skirmish detachment and our last Stonewall Brigade is on its last legs. Looks like the enemy force is about halfway um, dead as well. We're going to hit... What do I want to hit first? Cavalry, I don't know where it's going to go. I'm going to shoot it. I'm going to move up and try to finish it off. Take this guy and then shoot the guy in the back. That should be a good turn for me. Let's see how that plays out. So we are going to move up. We face diagonal, so luckily we're going to be able to hit that guy with the artillery and then with the infantry. That might even finish it off, right? One, two more hits or two more um, damage it needs to take before it's dead. And I have range drill. So even though they're in the forest, they're going to get hurt. Yeah, so we got them. And now we're actually going to hit these guys in the back in the wheat field, which is perfect for us. And that's going to break that Union Regiment. They're moving up the reserves here. And hopefully they don't shoot me. Yep, they do shoot me. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all right. So the enemy's down to the last three units. I did much better this time around. I think if I didn't have the mountain gun and the skirmish attachment, I also had to remove enemy units. So I not only made them worse, but I actually gave myself extra units too. And that was the only way for me to win this scenario. Uh, feel free to try this as well with less units. I think the original way I, I was trying to get this scenario to work is just the two Stonewall Brigade units. So if you could try that and win, I would be impressed. Um, you can join our Discord server and post a screenshot if you can achieve it. And then ping me as well. I, I wouldn't even be upset if you did that. I'd be curious to see if you guys can win that scenario. All right, I'm running out of time because I'm yapping. Uh, move back, form the front line, fire, fire. I don't know if I, I can even hit that shot. Move, shoot. Ah, crap. All right, let's see what happens. We're going to move up. Maybe I'm talking too much. That's why I'm losing. Um, move back there. Takes the front line. I'm, I'm going to miss. The enemy moved. Um, and let's see if this guy's going to get a shot off. He does get a shot off. That's good. I'm going to get hit back. Oh, man, that fire at will really hurt. Got one hit point left. It's not good. Um, what do I want to do now? I'm going to use this efficiency trait, finally. And what I'm going to do is... We're going to jump into attack column. We're going to move... We're going to move back and fire so we can regain our cohesion at the end of the turn. Stone We're going to go and move up on the flank, fire, and then with the last point of damage. Maybe what we'll do... Face... We're going to move into this tile here because it gives us the highest chance of hitting. See? They can't go anywhere. If you right-click on the flag, you can see all the tiles you can shoot at. So we're going to move there and then shoot. And let's see how that does for us. So go into the attack column. Enemy targets uh, this guy over here. I'm going to move back there. Their skirmishers moved up. They hit my... Oh, man, I only got... Oh, I'm dead. I tried to move, I think. Yeah. So they killed my Stonewall Brigade, and they evaded my fire over here as well. And then at least we'll get the mountain gun off. I don't know if I'm going to win this. I've got 50% left, but in reality, only two units. So we'll see. I'm definitely going to move back and shoot as my first order. Probably going to go into open order to reduce damage. Then, where do I want to go next? I don't know where I want to go. I'm going to start inching over to the right. I'll just, or to the left, rather. I'm just going to fire on the enemy just in case. But I'm not going to do much damage. And we're going to see how this turn plays out. So we move back. Enemy goes into the forest. The one thing we're working on with the AI as well is sometimes they have trouble with the bogged down terrain. And so this guy probably thought he was rugged and he could move into the uh, into the forest, but he bogged himself down. Um, so that is one thing that we're also working on improving. Um, so that means he's going to be stuck there for a turn. I'm going to use that to my advantage and really try to just wipe this unit out. I'm going to fire on him once. In fact, I'm going to go seize the wheat field first, form into a battle line, and fire. And fire again. And just, uh, again, to reiterate the hotkeys, you can move in, use the number uh, keys to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to change into formations. You could tap F to toggle your range, and then you can just right-click to shoot. So you don't even need to... Technically, you don't even need to use any of these buttons if you know the hotkeys, uh, which is nice. So we'll go into line. Moving up. And let's see if we can get a shot off here. Oh, they're on our flank. That's not good. Stonewall Brigade, or, uh, is it? No, that's, uh, Iron Brigade. Just shot us right in the flank there. Infantry is moving up right on our cannons, and are they gonna shoot us there, too? Oh, man. Okay. So, dang, this is not looking good. Okay. 
I would fall back there. This is going to block line of sight, so they can't hit me. I'm going to hit this unit once. That's going to do one, two, three damage. And to finish it off with the last damage, I'm going to hit it with the artillery. And that should, in theory, um, I think that should kill that unit. So let's see what happens. We're going to evade the Iron Brigade. They're going to try to shoot or move, actually. We knocked them out. Oh, it's a side shot, so I just knocked them out. Their sharpshooters, I think, shot me. And then where's Iron Brigade going? I don't think Iron Brigade can do anything. They're going on the road. Okay. All right, it's coming close. Down to the last two units each. And that sharpshooter unit is really tough. I'm going to fire on it immediately to get the side flank, and then I'm going to fall back and just kind of keep falling back down the road to bleed the rest of the enemy units. We can see the bodies stacking up here, too. Clothes are ripped right off their uh, torso. <laughs> Um, yep. All right, let's end the turn and see what happens here. They're going to fire on me. I get down to the last two hit points. I'm not going to regain cohesion either. Unless I kill him, I killed him. That's perfect. Yeah, that was really close. Be only, I'm only going to win this because I'm going to regain my cohesion now. Now I have to take out the Iron Brigade. So we're going to move up. And he might even move back on the road again. So we're going to move up and fire. Stonewall, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be ballsy with him and just move him up. Going, oh, do I go and fire? Well, no, I'll just target him. Okay, let's see what the enemy does. We're moving up. What is he doing? We're gonna fire on him. Oh, he has no idea what to do this turn. Oh, I think he, I think he got turned off because he lost. They're at sixteen percent. I think the AI thinks based on the percentage of kill that we've already won. But we're at one percentage off, yeah. So I think technically we've already won it. And the AI's given up. Or are they moving? Hold on, let's see. Maybe they just passed that turn. No, they're going on fire. Well, okay, the AI's still putting up some fight. But yeah, we should be able to finish. Now we won. There we go. Alrighty, so that's the scenario complete. I did it with 32%. So see if you guys can win it. And also see if you can win it just with the Stonewall Brigade. Um... But yeah, that does it for this scenario. If you want to suggest a scenario, go go ahead to the comments and suggest one, and I will try to beat it. And we could try to make that like a weekly or bi-weekly video series. I think that would be fun. Um, I've already got another one planned for next week as well. But yeah, feel free to write down your scenario ideas, and I will give them a shot. Thank you.